Hey y'all, hey, yeah. welcome, welcome, welcome to Sacred Lips with Tinder B. Hey, yes, hey, where nice. we create a safe space where we can freely have sensual and intimate, intimate, intimate conversations, whether it's about sex, money, cars, clothes, your hoes, or your soul. Ooh, ooh. Because your motherfucking soul is a part of all of the experiences that you have, so... That's what I love about Sacred Lips, because we reach in all them areas, but, all you know, it. we really talking about that intimate and sensual shit. That shit that tend to be spaces. like, hey, hey, that shit that tend to be like, hey, hey. And who are you, ma'am? I am Shabri, the energy healer, crystal dealer, and um, I'm so happy to be here on this sacred space. Any any place with you is sacred, and I'm, I love it. I know, I know, right? We, don't, it's cast don't season, do baby. That to it's cast season. We all in the fields. Oh, in, the, in the tears and shit. All of in there. And I love it. And I'm so grateful for you. And I love you. <laughs> we just some sentimental bitches. All up in the, all up in the love space. But shit, that's high vibration. So I want to be love in that space. Love is the highest vibration. I want to be I'm in that to space. to express that. And share I definitely that. definitely want to be in that space. And we have to share that with everybody. And whether it be through interaction, conversation, you know, it's different ways to share that shit with people. Like, motherfuckers be wanting to share toxic shit. Why do you want to share toxic shit? Share some love. Yeah. Where's Something that's going to make somebody laugh. Somebody, love. you know, just all about real shit that's going to hit home in a, a comical and, and truthful way. I love that's love for me. Mm, comical and me. truthful. Mm-hmm. I like that. I'm gonna start using that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, you just it. shared it with me. Now I'm gonna utilize it. Go <laughs> ahead. Now I'm spread, gonna, it. Spread, spread it. Spread it. Spread that love. Why? No, Open. I'm super excited. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> I'm so glad you're here. I love you so much. Look, they're going to get tired of us always know, telling right? each other we love know, each other right? on every fucking podcast. Tell your partner. To look, look next to you say, I love you. Whoever in your motherfucking you. tribe. Yeah. Whoever, whoever in your say, motherfucking fuck that. tribe. Who, look to your left. Who are your neighbor? <laughs> what the church? Your neighbor. That's what they said. Neighbor? Look to neighbor. your neighbor and tell them, I love say, you. I love you, bitch. Yes. You are beautiful. You are beautiful. Just the way. No matter what they say, words can't bring you down. (laughs) (laughs) I love it. Oh, we just awesome. And y'all, we have. I had a motherfucking edible, so I'm feeling real righteous. Life. Just smite just. I'm just real righteous. Life. Yeah, that's how we gotta be. Life been just. What like what has life been doing for you? How has it been fulfilling your needs? How has it been filling your cup? What is life doing for you? Life has been showing me just how um oh I just can't it just came to me. <laughs> what it's been doing, it's just been showing me so much balance Ooh. within my life. Like it's like I've really been receiving and giving and um that's just balancing. I I just been like able to pinpoint it in every place you know how you sometimes like situations be like draining Mm -hmm. and i i'm like able to like just see the difference the difference in in that like i'm not getting drained in no at no absolutely no area and that's you're not allowing it exactly exactly you're not allowing it so it's important that you get yourself to a space where you be in control of your circumstances too like that doesn't mean you won't experience something, but how you allow yourself to react, you know, having that emotional intelligence or flowing with situations and letting them be. Letting that shit be. What, you like that? I love it. I love it. That that helps. You like that, mommy? (laughs) (laughs) That really helps, though. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so speaking of feeling like fulfilling things for you and your cup fill, filling up when it comes to your experiences and you flowing in them. How about when it comes to fulfilling your needs pleasurably, like in the, in that pleasure house, in your sensual house, in your sexual house? Okay. Like, that are you area. being pleasured or are you being fucked? Okay. I like to... Um, <laughs> 
implement like a balance of both. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like I, I found that I'm at a space right now that I'm actually just finding that I like the both. Like I remember in this space. Oh, we girl, you just went deep on me. I did. Cause that's damn, what I do. I like to question. go deep. I knew this I like question. To go deep. You just hit it like on me to go on deep. the air. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So previously in my life, like I said, now I'm 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 finding balance in all aspects and realms. And previously I would used to feel like I was just doing it just because like like, you know, just getting off, but not really, not fulfilled in that area. Okay. And now, now in this uh, portion of my life, it's like total balance of the two. Like, sometimes you have you have to have the uh, intimacy within. You have to have that. Like, it has to be intimate in order to, you know, take it there. But sometimes just, like, doing it is fine, too. You know? If they, you know what I'm saying? No, no, go go deeper. Okay, okay. So <laughs> you get connected with your feelings through, you know, conversation and relationships and shit. Mm -hmm. That helps, you know, get you in, get your juices flowing. Okay, okay. that's a little, you know, pleasurable, yes. desirable. Yes. Like that, that makes someone desirable, I guess, mm -hmm. for me. With get that's your feelings, mm -hmm. but the fucking aspect. It was just like totally physical, just totally just the actual act of just like getting it all it's feeling good, physical. like physical. Mm -hmm. That part kind of be like, you don't want to just do that. You don't want to just do that. I guess for me, this is personally me. I always kind of been like you move, shadow. You move uh, that's more like with the shadow. Yeah, with just doing it. But now it's like I can do both. Yeah, I can do both whenever I feel like doing both instead of like pushing that away and then just only then. Then like that's that is a sacral sh chakra disbalance unbalance. Once you master both, identify. then you can do both. You yeah. have to work on both and make sure you're. So that basically, both. I was in, unbalanced in that area before, and I'm totally fine and balancing pleasure and um, passion. And you know how to be in control of how you're doing the physical act. So then, if that's what the space that you want and you're open to it and you know how to be balanced and control, in, in control exactly. with your emotions when it comes to just experiencing that, mm -hmm. then that's when it becomes a powerhouse and it, you're balanced in it. So, you know, everyone is not at that space. I didn't used to be at that space, but now I am. So I know when I want to get a nice fuck. <laughs> yeah. And then I know at the end of the day, though, when it comes to me as a woman and my sensuality and what I deserve, I deserve the pleasure and the sensuality and just the mutual mm -hmm. feelings and uh, reciprocity. And exactly. And my love and my um, and me being um, stimulated, the intimacy, you know, that's essential. And so many women aren't requiring that shit nowadays. Like they're not requiring, not required. They're not creating a space where they're allowing a man to give them that exactly because everything you experience is what you're allowing so we can't say oh you got to require that no you really have to allow it and you allow it with your essence and how you move as a woman um not just a woman but men too men just be getting fucked by women for real like they be on the they get the same treatment but to at, yeah, at, yeah yeah at the end of the day you have to sit with yourself and be like damn am i being fucked or am i being filled you know filled is wholeness feel is pleasure feel is intimacy feel is sensuality feel is reciprocity so are you being filled or are you just being fucked? Are you just getting up with this nigga and just being fucked and let him not be sensual with you, not have any intimacy, not treat you um, with respect and love, not have maturity when it comes to your interactions? That's not being filled. You just being fucked at that point if you're allowing that. So you could allow a man to fill you and still have a good fuck at the same time. Because that's a part right. of the fulfillment as well. Right. So I don't want to make it seem like there's a, um, thank you. I don't want to make it seem like there's a disconnect or they're separated. No, because you want to have a good fuck. A good fuck is pleasure. But when it's in the right way. Absolutely. When it's in the right way. So um, I'm very mindful in that area. I'm just becoming. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. This has been a total experience for me. 
Which, what would you say, like, how long has it been since you've been just becoming? Because mine has been, mine started, I feel like I've always been that way, but not as conscious either, though. I, I don't remember me just being in a space where I allowed that a lot, of, a lot, you know what I mean? But I also know that where I am now, you're not just, you're not just going to fuck me. You're not. You're not. I'm not going to allow it. You gonna lo- you gonna right. love me <laughs> in that moment. You gonna do me right <laughs> in that motherfucking moment. You gonna and I'm gonna do the same thing for you. So then, so to me, it's like what what define fucking? Then you define the feels. The what is what would be the fucking? So the fucking would be like like I just didn't like it. so no intimacy, just not no like, sensuality, no chemistry, no connection. Just oh he fine. I'm looking at the external. And then mm. y'all go fuck. And then you allowing him to not have none of those attributes or characteristics that go with um, being filled, which is the intimacy, the love, the sensuality, the chemistry, the connection. Like, a lot of people don't be connecting. They just right. be fucking. You know, and then after a lot of women, and I'm speaking on women because that's kind of the the gender of the conversation, but men as well. But, um... You know, a lot of women, they, they in their feelings because they allowed this man to just fuck them. And then that's all it was going to be. And now well, I guess that space. is more of a mentality then. Because I don't feel like I ever just been fucked. Mm-hmm. Like, I've never just been fucked. And I ain't even seen like, just being fucked. Intentions as well. Are yeah, you being intentional like with that? I guess that's, that's my thing that I'm coming different on. Because now it's more like very much intentional. Like. Every very all of that. I know the the power within sex in itself, so it's always intentional. Before it was just, I wouldn't say that I was just getting fucked because you just said everything I just said. I said before I feel like yeah, I wanted to get yeah, fucked, but, but I feel like I always had this. Yeah, more it wasn't of a like it was always a connection, just, but at the same time, I wasn't utilizing the the. My the power of the yeah the sacredness the of sacredness it. It was just of like your doing womb. it mm-hmm. like being in that power like knowing that and you walking in there more exactly. and you feel the difference although you probably difference. wasn't just loose as a motherfucking goose you but still there was definitely an intention. imbalance yeah, because even imbalance. With, with even within like relationships because I'm like a relationship type of so even within a relationship I would be doing it and there is some type of um there is some type of connection there obviously if we're together but i've had times where even i would lose the connection within the relationship and still fucking do it mm-hmm. so i guess that would be in turn getting fucked too when yeah, you like it is yeah when, especially or, when y'all um, having a disconnect like emotionally, yeah, emotionally and then now you just fucking because fuck you know we still technically in yeah, a relationship we, and we still we live together yeah. and we land together so i'm just fucking but i ain't there mm-hmm. and then that's where you get situations where you ain't getting wet like that mm-hmm. you not into totally it, balanced. start doing doggy style more. Ain't no eye contact and shit. Like no intimacy. No intimacy. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. Exactly. So that's that's how you know those different this the the, the, the ah, damn edible. <laughs> That's how you know it's a disconnect with that and Mm -hmm. not align with you walking in more of being in power of how you're going to receive. And receiving is giving and giving is receiving. They one and the same. So it's important that we know how to. That was a little bar. Like giving is receiving and receiving is giving. giving. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. This damn edible guy. We go. Oh, my God. Um, To my listeners, as you know, sometimes I like to be on social media and go live. So we have a couple people that are replying. And Rachel said, you can be with someone and have no connections, no floor play, just get a a nut. True. That's true. You can. But at that point, what is is it intentional? Is it how are you flowing with that at that point? And that's what I'm saying. Like, if you're balanced in your in your power, in your sacral energy, then having that fuck with no extra shit it's gonna be okay with you yeah. you're not gonna have all those emotions attached you're not gonna be so um overwhelmed and lost in the sea of because you're in control because you're it. in control at that point absolutely yeah, not absolutely. it's not being used like you're not being used basically you're you just using yourself you're just utilizing your own energy instead of just like letting somebody drain it out of you Pull and it that out, that's scoop it out. yeah like 
and that I guess like you said I have to be aware that I haven't always been in a a balanced place within myself or within that sexuality to even know that that was happening you know what I'm saying me either and it's a lot of and now that I do know it's a lot of women that that um and men too yeah that are imbalanced in that area and then it's like it's a complete you can see you can see the symptoms of that shit right in on they on they self like you extra extra sexy on the internet because you want some type of attention or just you know what i'm saying you extra you're not extra being overly sexual you're not but being feel you're not yeah. being feel so you gotta you're gonna do extra things to get more attention to think that you're gonna feel that void mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not being filled baby Exactly. Whereas it's someone who could do the same shit, but is not looking for any validation out of it. Mm -hmm. Like if if that's just, I don't, you know what I'm saying? It's somebody that's just on on there using their sexuality, using their sexuality, whereas I guess opposed to shit like i said getting it used from your ass because after you sh- flaunt yourself in a way you're not getting anything in return that you that's valuable mm-hmm. of value at all and i know uh even the attention is like mm-hmm. who the fuck can get off of an attention like for real yeah are you gonna have that full it's pleasure? empty because like when you get when you get to that space of really connecting and having intimacy and having that and always allowing that whenever it's time for you to have sex when you want that you know what i mean like because like i said you can still be in a moment where you just want to have a good fuck you know but the balance has to be on both ends but majority of the time you want to have that space of allowing it to always be pleasurable and feel and when you make sure it's in that space you're not gonna be even greater even more fulfilling because that's people don't even understand even that it's fulfilling. like it's like that's why things are so overly sexualized because that's an energy that that can be harnessed it. like you can utilize it's, a, it's so powerful you can make a fucking baby from having sex so it's something it's a something human and it's higher you know what i'm saying you human. can make that's how life is created that's so obviously it's a is. a transfer of energy that is so grand if you really, really conscious about it, it could be used in such a more better yeah. way instead of just just to get off, just to right. get your your nuts out. For example, out. if you go deeper within the consciousness and understand the sexual energy, you could do sex magic. But that's why it, things have been so sexualized because they want you to just get a nut. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They just want you to get a nut. They exactly. just, and it ain't no day. It's just a psychological um, dis position i guess that people just want to get a nut you know what i'm saying because it's shit a ass is on the tv all the time it's or it's well. all as soon as you get on the internet it's so so easily to access some fucking porn and it's so you know what i'm saying it's just in your in your face mm-hmm. instead of you really knowing the power of the shit instead of just the feelings the intention yeah. with when, it when it's so powerful it. when you you hell yeah when you learn you like oh i need to be more sacred with this. right i need to respect and honor this energy a little mm-hmm, bit better mm-hmm. i need to be mindful of how i'm utilizing mm-hmm. this energy and that's where abstinence come into play that's where being mindful of who you allowing in or who you're giving Absolutely. it to as far as the men and so you move differently when it comes to your sexual energy and that's and i really mm-hmm. when i really start learning these things and stepping into that i really became more um more mindful of my sexual energy like i don't fucking play about that shit right and you know could there be times it can be expressed in every in a lot of different ways so many different ways in different ways but yeah i'm just talking about as far as the actual act Mm -hmm. i definitely but no that's what i'm saying even in the act like you can express it however even if you shit some people strictly just want to fuck one person or just strict like you know what i'm saying it can be expressed in different ways once you know the power of it you can find the way that's best expressed it to you yeah, and be intentional with it. Talk your shit. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, so I um I always like to like when I'm dealing with somebody, that's why it's important to date too. Like people who have been conditioned to think like even myself at one point like one point like we got to do it this way. We got to do it this way. We got to be traditional. They have you dating too many people that you a hoe and da 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 da. No. Just date. Get to know a person. Allow the person to get to know you. Allow yourself 
to get to know that individual to see if that's somebody you want to you don't got to get straight into fucking or even if you do it still allow yourself to get to know an individual like once you get there and you know you're able to have that exchange and have a conversation communication expression you receive different vibrations from that you could feel how if mm-hmm. you're really gonna like this individual you could see how that energy is going to be that's a part of an energy exchange as well Absolutely. so you can exchange energy on many different ways prior to actually uh exchanging this a sexual energy and then you can know if you actually want to do a sexual it. exchange is, you, is, you is it, it just is this just exactly. the fuck or the feel is, is there this, gonna be, is this you gonna can be a fuck or feel shit. and then you, be you a can control. call that shit and you can know it and that's just awareness and that that's awareness so level is just so fucking low on a lot of people and um it's really sad to me why is that sad? awareness level just be so low what makes like, it sad so people could understand um just like I said, that just not knowing that that this is an energy exchange. It's not just a feel good type of thing to do. And I'm not trying to be churchy or nothing like you have to do it. You know, you got to, oh, this is like, but it is. It's sex. Sex is supposed to be sacred no matter how you're doing it. It's but still uh, you already said the disclaimer though. We both did. The disclaimer is we're not saying you can't get a good fuck and keep right, it moving. Right, right, right. You just have to. You need to be balanced in your awareness and be balanced. And that's what I'm saying. It's like s- s- people don't like. I don't think people really know that this is something that's mm, more not than just a of get. It. That, that are there. That's what I'm saying. The awareness level is sad because. In a, in a lot of aspects, I don't want to judge nobody. I'm not trying to judge nobody. No, it's just, you're speaking on facts that people experience, so it's not about judging. It's about bringing that awareness to these individuals mm-hmm. who are not aware. And if they can't handle that, then tune right. into another motherfucking podcast. <laughs> and that's just on baby. So, <laughs> not my babies. <laughs> shit, the fuck? <laughs> Keep that understanding shit. It's real right. shit. And that's Truly. the problem. Ain't, ain't no, oh, I, I'm, I'm not trying to challenge. No, you speak your facts. Right. Because even, okay, even like I said, at a certain point in time, it's like, we, especially women, especially women, like we are like drained for that energy. And it's like, so, it'd be so sad to me because it show it, like I said, it, it shows in symptoms of different in different ways with that low self-esteem the um the low drive shit people you know women who don't don't insecurity don't take care of their you know them their self in a in a in a way that's beneficial and self-love like self-love yeah. away with different rituals and things that is going to keep them at a place Mm-hmm. Of being better, looking better, feeling better, but instead it's like externalized mm-hmm. instead of instead of understanding that you are the that essence is so important to know that it's powerful and you using it like so willy nilly. If we really knew, you wouldn't be doing that. That's what I'm. That's that's what I mean when I say is the awareness is sad to me because if you really knew the power within yourself. Which is why we're talking about this to let your ass know how powerful that energy is. If you really knew, you wouldn't be throwing it away all willy nilly mm-hmm. like that. Mm-hmm. And that goes for long long term relationships. I don't give a fuck how Any much. Fucking, I don't give a fuck works. how much history y'all got. If that shit ain't doing shit for your energy, if it's unhealthy, if it's toxic, cut that shit the fuck off. Mm-hmm. Let that shit. That's what's keeping you down even more. You allowing that to circulate in your womb, which is your powerhouse. Exactly. And y'all could be doing it every motherfucking day. And if you're not loving that shit, if it's not feeling good, if it's not enjoyable, now if it's not beneficial, yourself. you're not allowing it's not intentional. You force it. Yeah. No, no no positive um um what is it? Attributes to why or intentions on why you're doing it. You just allow you just allowing bullshit. Cuz that's really what it is, especially if you're not happy or into it. So then I ask this: Do you think that you that both parties involved have to be aware of this in order for it to be, you know? I guess it, you would because if one of y'all is stagnant, y'all are both gonna yeah, be both, trans- you're, gonna feel it. you're gonna feel it. You're gonna feel it. Mm-hmm. Like even if I get where you're trying to go with it, I really do, and that's so like kind of hard to articulate mm-hmm. and express it. But I get what you mean. But 
you're going to feel it. it Because once you get to a space of you know you're not going to allow this or you know that you're only going to involve yourself or give your sexual energy in with a, another individual that's on the same thing, it's not going to happen unless it's an individual that's on the same thing. Right. Because your awareness. Now, when you're not aware, then one person may be off, and then that's going to make both of y'all off. So that awareness is going to always help you to make the best decision. And even if you still don't make the best decision, you, you, you are aware of it. So then now you're going to take accountability most times. Right. I've been in a situation like that where, you know, I knew this shit and I still involved myself. Mm-hmm. And then I wasn't butt hurt or fucked up or trying to figure shit out. I knew what it was. And so I took accountability and I allowed myself to sit with that. And then you don't, you don't start going into this why or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Trying to figure shit out. Well, you know what it is? We know what the fuck shit be before we get into it. <laughs> Like, on some right. real shit. And we got to stop playing with ourselves. Stop being oblivious. But that's what I'm saying. Because there are these women I that can't moments. utilize their... And then now we going into some other shit. But there is women that can utilize that energy and, and possibly... That's what I guess you would call like a... a, a a succubus or like a some like a, a vampire or somebody that's you going into it knowing the power within it knowing that the intentions behind it and still choosing it to, to do it in, yeah or leaving like like i guess like like um like sex workers or somebody mm-hmm. That that's utilizing it and the exchange is not like a feel, like not literally a feel, but it wouldn't exactly be a fuck either. They ain't getting fucked if it's like a exchange that's that's even. Mm-hmm. And to them, I guess it would be the money or just whatever. Passive that. With it. Mm-hmm. Just allowing passive with it, not being proactive with it. Proactive is the intent. I would think they would I think that's very motherfucking intentional. I think that's the most, the highest motherfucking intent, I guess. Not the highest, but that is a form. That's why I said it could be expressed in many different fucking ways. Because. I feel like at that, that point, they just doing. But they have an no, intent they know on their, why they, they doing know it. their they, motherfucking, the power within like, okay. it. I know they know the power within it, but they still just doing. Because they not doing it with the intentions of that that higher space. Like, they know what the fuck they doing, and they fine with it. And that and that's what they intent is, but it ain't okay. So would you say, although they're aware of it and they doing it in the way that they want to do it, the awareness is there. Mm-hmm. They the got awareness their own is way. There. They yeah. got their own intent. So I'm using I'm there. The intention is I'm using my my energy in exchange for whatever. You know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So I know the power within my energy. I know it could be funneled into this. I know the feelings. I know my. You know what I'm saying. I'm not. I know who I'm fucking with. I know what level they on. Whatever level that is. <laughs> I'm and I'm gonna do it. this, and I'm gonna make the exchange. You don't think that's passive. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know exactly what what she would say. What is what do you mean by passive? Like, like you just allowing that to flow in that way, even though you like. I don't know how to break that shit down to you. Hmm. I feel like it's just a flow that you just letting happen, and you're aware of what comes with it, but you choose to just be in that space. So just allowing that shit, like allowing you to. But I'm like that. but. You would be creating what comes with it. Like, you're creating that. But a lot comes with that shit. You can't tell me you don't. I'm not against it. I mean, do what you do. I got some good good people that sex workers. But what comes with that? Don't lie. I don't don't. know exactly. I don't fucking know exactly. Don't act like you ain't seen what come with that for some people. But what I'm saying is, depending on how, because there's there's a lot of different ways. Even strippers, that ain't even. I wouldn't even. We ain't even got to talk about Mm -mm. exactly what (laughs) you want to talk about. No, we can. Oh, I thought you said, mm-mm. We like, no, no we not like it. leaving it like. No, I'm saying we ain't even got to talk about like exactly sex workers, but someone utilizing their sexual energy for exchange of something. You know what I'm saying? To me, that's you tapped into the fields and not getting fucked. That's basically what I'm saying. So now you're talking about a level of stripper, though. 
Yeah, I guess. Are they getting fucked or are they just dancing and um, utilizing that sensuality? Or are they actually using the sexual energy? Okay, then we're going to talk about sex workers then. Yeah, because strippers are different. Wanna say we that, about, right. Yeah, we are talking about actually strippers, getting fucked. So the we not. they sensuality. Exactly. Get what the fuck they want. And, but they not. You could be a naked ass stripper and never fucking nobody. Yeah. So we're going to talk so, about sex workers. Yeah. So okay, want, let's leave it you there. You know what I'm saying with yeah, that? That's absolutely. why I'm like, I don't think that could kind of go in the same It's thing. not. So as a sex worker. What with comes with that? That I don't fucking know exactly. A lot of a lot of bodies, but that's what I'm saying. But, but they're aware of it. That's what, what I'm saying. A lot there's of a lot of body. If you are aware of your sexual energy, you're aware of the power within it. You're intentional with it. How? Why does it matter? How many? Oh, you talk about now. That, or, how many? Or don't even, matter. or even if the they are aware, the even if they are aware of the of the uh power of it. If I know what it is and they know what the hell they came here to do the exchange is whatever the compensation is when you know what i'm saying okay. whether it be money or whatever the fucking case may be um because we talking about workers right that's yeah the workers, yeah it. so at that point are you saying an individual didn't know how to do spiritual practice to release their womb and their energy from all these different um energies that's entering okay them. so then i so guess that's, that's why what i'm you saying it's more that, that comes with that it's more that comes that's what i was trying to get to and it's more that comes with that yeah i could be intentional i know what i'm doing i know what comes with this but a lot still right comes right with right, that. right right that's sexual what I'm saying. energy what is mean? a very powerful energy from? so are we talking about a spiritual individual that's a, a sex worker who know how to release those energies after each individual that they have a sex with no it's not about the number but it's about who you're allowing in your womb mm-hmm Mm -hmm. You fucking all these niggas, but you know you that bitch and you in control, la, la, la. That's fine, but are you doing the ec the, the extra work to release that? Right. Because if you're not, then you're not that bitch that's in control. Because right. all the spirits is still mm -hmm. in your womb. And they not being circulated or transmuted. Mm -hmm. See, there we go. So it's levels to sex worker shit. And, I, and, you know, and it's a lot of individuals that's not there. But I know that there are some that's there. And, that, and they walking in that shit. And those are the ones you see who are... Um, famous for that shit, mm -hmm. like doing these tantra events and exactly. shit, fucking a lot of people. But they are also connected with their spiritual side, knowing how to transmute that actual, that actual trans. Yeah, exactly. The transaction that's actually being had, because repurposing mm -hmm. that energy, removing any attachments is not healthy. Healthy. Everybody mm -hmm. don't be in that space. That's what I was asking. Like, mm, I get it. I get it. Mm -hmm. But, but are the, you what really? goes along with it is also, but that's what I'm saying. When you are, I guess, not everybody that is aware of that um, power within the, the the sexual act don't always know that you have to release, release that shit. Because <laughs> if you fucking all these people and you're not releasing, you're not doing any type of healing modality or alignment modality to release and detach, all that shit still up in you. So you can't be that bitch. You can't be that intentional, mindful bitch like you Cause then, you are. then you, then you will end up get being. It's just being fucked. You just being because fucked and not filled. Yep. <laughs> because if you just letting that that exchange just be, even if it like we a sex, you a sex worker and. Um, you got your compensation. Now you tagging around this low vi vibrational ass energy. You really got fucked off. Yeah. You you got fucked off That's in the a deal. A lot of energy you tra you transferring. This motherfucker might be dealing with a lot of mental issues and psychological and spiritual warfares within his his universe. And oh yeah, you know what you doing, and I know that. I'm fucking and I'm getting fucked, but I don't care because I'm doing it with a purpose. I'm getting what I need to get. I'm, yeah, but are you also releasing these motherfuckers? Because if not, you receiving all that shit that's coming with it. And that goes for anyone that's sexually active. Men too. Men too. Anyone shit. that's sexually active, not just sex workers, not just women, anyone that's sexually active, that's what this is about. That's what I'm saying about the awareness levels that people are not even aware that the, the energy exchange don't really just stop there. Not After you get your nut off, it don't just stop there. That's why I said that this is an act that creates a whole motherfucking baby. A whole human is created within this, this exchange. It could be. So when it, a baby ain't made in this exchange, something is still being transferred. Mm -hmm. 
and something implanted. Still being created. Something and is created. still being created. If a baby's not being created, something is being created energetically. Something is created in the metaphysical world. Because when you get that net off, that um, orgasmic vibration is going to go into the universe. It's going out into that other motherfucker's spirit. It's going out into many different planes. <laughs> and if there's no intention with it, some shit gonna get created, and you got to be ready for whatever comes back with that. Mm-hmm. So, because these you getting fucked or filled? Are you getting in fucked that? Or filled? Because you gonna be what you gonna be feeling after that? And shit? then require like not require. I don't like to use that, but allow that. Make that a part of what you do for yourself, whether you're a man or a woman. Don't just be fucked. Do it with intention, even if it is a one time thing with somebody. Even if it's a one night stand, even if it's just this this um fine ass joint that you want to fuck with, or this fine ass nigga you want to fuck with, make sure y'all both intentional, and be some adults about it. Be mature, have an understanding, communicate, have y'all fun, have that good energy exchange because it's at a healthier space now, and do what you got to do. But when you go in oblivious and blindfolded because you you doing it to yourself mm-hmm. because you're allowing yourself to go into this situation that's gonna have you all in your chest and shit or trying to figure things out you know what i'm saying or having attachments now you dishonoring yourself or not even aware that you get when after you done did that that you taking on these energies now you all acting weird you you know what i'm saying why you depressed you don't even know why you look off now and you know doing shit you don't really normally or just feeling some type of way yeah he He might be dealing with depression now you got his depression you like i just got depressed out of nowhere because you just put his let his fucking energy in you one, you allowed it, and two, now you not even doing nothing to release it. So you really have to be mindful because if you, because it's gonna go two ways: either you mindful and you're not gonna allow it in, or you could be a mindful individual that allows it in but know what to do to release it. So you could be mindful in two different ways. At least be one of them, though. Don't just be <laughs> going in oblivious and just getting fucked. Nothing. Just don't be just getting fucked. You know, if you don't get fucked, be like, okay, well, I just got fucked. I accept that, but I'm going to release this shit. Detach. Repurpose. Transmute. Sexual energy and motherfucker. I don't play around. I don't play around. All right? You can play with yourself. You be, and you're lucky if you get to play with this pussy. <laughs> shit. Hey, you're lucky. And <laughs> that's all, folks. <laughs> Tone, do you feel like you're sacred with your sexual energy? Yes. You be How? intentional. How? Are you intentional? Houseway. Houseway. What, Kaye? You don't know. You don't. <laughs> I don't just fuck anybody, but when you do. He don't All right. even work. He ain't. He ain't fucking. He gon. He wants to feel. <laughs> That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, good. People need to mindful versus conscious. Hmm. Being mindful is important. Being conscious is important. But those those two, you know, like, what's the difference? Huh? They kind of they, be the, they the same thing. But I would say. A conscious could be the awareness. They kind of the same thing. Conscious is awareness. Mindfulness is awareness. Maybe, yeah, because they both be in attention. Because it's br- bringing something to your awareness. Something yeah. is brought. Consciousness is awareness. So, Jaria, I think that's the. I like but it, I though. Think be they both. both go in the same. They both go in the same plane, but they can go two different directions because mm. mindfulness can maybe work. You more know, with but the, you don't even. Yeah, and the mindfulness could be more with the actual brain self and the thought patterns, and then the consciousness is more on the metaphysical level and the spiritual level, a connection. So, yeah, I get that. Right. I love it. I love it. But, y'all know, just make sure y'all going into a space of being filled with everything in your life. Um, With your aspirations, with your sexual energy, how you're transferring it, how you're receiving it. Be fulfilled. How you want to be fulfilled in being successful and other shit? Be fulfilled in your your sex life. 
Don't just be doing. Don't just be passive and allowing shit to occur. Be proactive and creating it and uh, allowing it to occur in, in your creation in creative space. Mm-hmm. It is powerful. Yeah, creative space. Creative energy is very, very powerful for the mind, body, and spirit. But that's all, folks. That's all I wanted to talk to y'all about today. So until next time, make sure y'all being good with your mind, good with your body, good with your soul, and sacred in all your motherfucking experiences. Later.